So now that I've defined all my mounting surfaces, I can, uh, again, I can go nuts on this and I can start uh, defining the top of this if you're ever going to put some components on the top, uh, defining the back of the, of the panel if need be, uh, maybe the floor section you can define as a mounting surface. The other thing I want to show you actually is something that's kind of interesting because in these kind of panels you have uh, side uh, panels that come in, come in, uh, in, in play that you can assign uh, to these you can buy them separately. So what you can do here is uh, I'm going to assign actually some mounting uh, surfaces. So here you have some defined mounting points. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to, for my door, I'm going to click this corner right here. Holding my control button, I can click this corner and I'm going to click on the other corner down here. And what that is going to do is going to assign this uh, mounting point. So uh, here I can pick a mounting point. I already have some presets made. So this is going to be my mounting point. If not, you can always click on new and you, you can type in the name you want to give the mounting point assigned to it. This is going to be the side cover. So this is going to be a uh, left. He's going to go on the inside. And I'm not going to rotate him. So the component is going to snap onto it. I'll give you a, an example of what that's going to do. So I'm going to click OK on that. We'll see if I need to make some corrections. And what he does, he puts this little uh, point right here um, and I'll explain to you what that does so what I'm going to do here I have uh, the side panel for this particular component uh, which is this guy right here so if I double click on him this is actually my side panel and there's nothing really special about it besides the fact that I uh, assigned a mounting handle here so I use this button here mounting handle holding my control button I click on this corner click on the other corner and he assigned the mounting handle to that now uh, what happens with that once you assign a mounting that handle point and then you assign here on this side you assign a mounting point well if I insert that macro so I'm just going to insert that side panel macro which is that one and you'll see it sticks to my mouse but as soon as I get close to the panel there's a little green box that shows up and that's my mounting point so if I snap to it boom see it's going to snap now obviously it's it's uh, kind of like snapping kind of in a weird way so that's basically because the information on my uh, mounting point is wrong so to fix that just going to double click on my mounting point and I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees hit ok let's try that again insert snap to it boom it snaps to the right spot and I'm just going to verify if um, I'm going to snap it click to, to place it yeah that's fine just to verify and it's snapping in the right order it's actually uh, coming in with the, the inside is, is not uh, is not sticking out so I got the right side pointing in so you'll see how you can actually make these kind of snaps uh, snap points and then you can assign your side panels you can also assign different components this also works really nice when you're doing fluid uh, components fluid macros for your 3d panels for your fluid stuff all right because uh, you need some fluid uh, snap for your valves and so on and so forth so this is the kind of not uh, functions that we have once these elements are done and also like I mentioned these are this is my macro uh, project uh, that I'm working on once this is all done what I can do is uh, go here right click generate macros automatically from macro project and he's going to generate all these macros that I can assign to parts later on okay so uh, that's it for today Hope, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it so under 20 minutes uh, or 15 minutes it took me to bring in import this panel from the retail website uh, set it all up and uh, now I'm ready to use it. I'm ready to start placing components, rails, ducts and stuff like that uh, into my panel. Have a good one.